welcome to this new green stuff world tutorial today we're going to take a really quick look at how i use my hybrid filter technique which is a mixture of many different transparent products to create one finished layer so we're working on a word bearers themed venom crawler and the first thing we're doing here is we're working with sanguinim red which is an intensity ink by green stuff world and we're giving all the flat panels on this section a coat of the ink now the advantage of working over a silver undercoat is not only will this positively affect the finished look because we're looking for a, a semi chromatic metallic finish but it also helps me get around the complexity of the trim later in the project so it cuts down on the work for the trim and gives me that kind of metallic sheen to the finish so once we've got this first layer laid down that's our first transparency on there you can see very clearly we can see the silver through this we're going to move on to the next layer very simply we're going to add a second layer of the intensity ink which is sanguinim red i've sped this to make things a little bit quicker for you to watch now what we're doing is here, we're building up the opacity by adding transparent layers together to make a sandwich of colour. So layer upon layer upon layer. Now what this allows us to do is, is to filter each layer beneath and gradually build up the intensity of the colour. Moving on to the next layer, what we're going to do here is, we're putting a third layer on. And you'll notice now that I'm focusing my efforts of this intensity ink layer sanguine in red again at the bottom half of the panel the reason for this is because i'm trying to capture the light effect where the light the ambient light is hitting the top end of the panel but down low down the bottom it's much darker as you can see we're starting to get a gradation there between dark and light some tonality again i added another layer make sure everything dries in between if you're going to dry things artificially don't use a warm hair dryer with ink doesn't react very nicely to, to warmth so just use a cool hair dryer or a fan just making sure that we're feathering out very very gently there now what we're going to do for the next layer is we're going to mix another green stuff oil intensity ink which is sacra purple with sanguine in red 50 50 and we're going to add that at the very very bottom of this panel so this is going to give you a purple red effect so this is going to be 50 50 of sanguine in red and sacra purple you can see this has got a purple tint to it but as it dries it'll homogenize really nicely with the sanguine in red and if you feather it out let the brush unload as you move upwards and feather it out and you'll find you can get a really really nice fade between the two tones again this is transparent so we can still see the tone below okay there we go moving on to the next part now we're going to pick up some of the metal interference in red and we're going to use this at the very top of the panel to accentuate the red metallic effect this is a transparent product it's got very fine metallic red pigment in it but it's in a transparent medium so i'm just gently touching it and then feathering it out at the top of the panel here to again cause this lighting effect so we've got more light cast on the top and the metallics are reflecting more you can see I'm just feathering it out to make sure we get that gradation between the layers. Again, another transparent layer. You can start to see how the transparent layers begin to build. Now we're going to pick up another intensity ink, another transparency, but a very dark. This is walnut brown. And we're going to lay this in the very bottom part here where we want our darkest area. Now with a lot of the Chaos Demon engines and Chaos Space Marines no less, a lot of them have got quite a lot of degradation and scratches built into the the sculpt so it's quite nice with these kind of effects where you can actually get some patina in there as well because it will naturally spill over onto the edges of the trim they're talking to trim now antimerium black wash ink green stuff world black washing we're now going to wash over all the silver trim that's visible around this panel don't be too precious about this it doesn't matter if you spill over slightly into the very edge of the termination between the panel and the trim but you're going to wash all the areas make sure everything's nicely coated this does a great job of dialing down the shine and we're going to add that back with highlights soon at tremendous black washing 
It's a bit thinner than intensity, much more like a wash, so it will run and move around, but you can push it and pull it. You can see I'm just dabbing it around the edges there. Make sure you've got all that metal trim coated. And this is going to dial back all that shine and allow you to then manually add the highlights where you want to put them. Gives a really, really nice flat finish. And of course, add some weathering at the same time. Just making sure I've got everything coated. Brilliant. Let's move on to the next stage shortly. Final few touches. There we go. Now the most important thing is here is we've got to continue to remember that what we're doing is we're applying transparent products layer upon layer as a sandwich. And no less with this, this is orange rust pigment, a liquid pigment product by Green Stuff World. And I'm threading this because it's very thin, it's almost capillary. I'm threading it down the very edge of the panel with the brush tip. And you can see it's where the panel terminates with the trim. I'm just letting the capillary effect, let it pull itself down through that edge. And this will dry to a very dusty red rust. And this just gives a really nice effect on the very edge where the water would collect and things would naturally patina and rust. It's a very, very thin product, but if you thin it with a little bit of water, you can get it to run beautifully and suck right into those recesses. You can see I'm using the very tip of the brush and thinking about where it would collect and just dabbing some extra into those areas. Okay, moving on to our first highlight. This is Gunmetal by Green Stuff World. Really, really beautiful. Gunmetal Grey, it's called, but it's actually a silver. You see, one of the important things with these Cars Demon engines, this isn't a straight line highlight. This is very, very broken. You can see me tapping away. This is sped up to make things easier for you to watch. But you can see I'm tapping away at the edge there because I want a very rough, very mottled highlight around the edge. I don't want anything perfect on this panel. Going right the way around the edge, using the side of the brush, catching all the highlighted ends. Then our final highlights, Quicksilver, again by Green Stuff World, catching the very, very high spots. Now you can see now we've finished all those layers. We've got a total of, I think, six products in there. And it's given us a beautiful gradation, some wonderful weathering, and a very, very fast finish. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that. That's the hybrid filter.